So here we will talk about the nail length and well I said this many times but in fact if you observe I have more flesh than nail. This is because you need to have quite short nails to have control of what you play and also because if the, if the nail is too long then you will not be able to get the sound from this point of the finger which is what is convenient to have a combination of flesh and nail so this thing here means that when you play it will make a mark right here you see if the nail is too long then then you cannot possibly play rest stroke from here and then it will be a naily sound or if it is too long also then it, it may bend the joint here, this joint. So instead of attacking like this, like a claw shape, this way it will be bending, and this is a weakness. This thing here, because our angle of attack should be actually this angle, right? So not this, or what to speak of this, this is also wrong. So this is also too extreme and this is the right thing this one now to get the attack here push and release so push and release this way I have to have the hand in this angle here and obviously the nail plays a role on this because here I can have nail, nail sound if I play superficially Also have pure flesh sound look from where I am hitting here and I can have both my sound combination of nail and flesh but but the nail has to stay below shorter than the than than the flesh because if, if this is when you do this thing right when you are playing like this then also same thing it will be look you will have less, less, uh, less nail than flesh, so that you can combine both when you play. Now this sound push down and release, and then therefore, either if we have this wrong posture, obviously it will not be possible. But taking for granted that you have the right posture, this thing here has to be implemented. So. See now because of, of the of the nail length. Now, another thing is that how how do you sand the nails? And this is important because generally people use just uh, nail files like this or or like this, and, and then they do this thing. This is not good for for playing. Of course, you you get the the size out of one of these rough nail files but then you, you pick a piece of of this sandpaper and then then we place it here like this say over the first string then I go or second let's do it with the second I go like this and then now I can do I can play with it with the attack with the real attack of the of the string a moment put this over the second and then now look I can here I have the real way I, I will attack the string which the, the file like that does not give me so here I can really play over the string look and shape it to the to what will be its real performance right same with the ring finger The first string can be done very nice. So this now here it gives me it gives me a touch, a real touch of the string. Right? Which which if, if I just use the file like this, it will never give me that. Right? So this is one thing. Now for the thumb, same thing. 
Then we go here, say we put this from the sixth string, and then now we pull up, pull up this thing and and have the thumb also with its shape should be also not very long to have control. So practically speaking, having long nails means bad technique from the Paco de Lucia's point of view. Uh, either these ones, or either fingers, fingernails very long here, or the thumb also like a knife and beak. <laughs> That's not good. So this should be short to have control of, of, of it and uh, in this shape here, which has, has more from the external part less and from the internal part of the thumb more in order to have nuances like this is frontal I will get more nail, less nail, less nail, less nail and flesh and also if I want flesh, pure flesh, look all these nuances, right? So, now, but Talking about the, well, this is the shape also, you get it not very long like that, and then we'd also do this here with the real attack at 45 degrees that we will play, not frontal but at most, and how we will send the thumb this way. This is important. And this is how Paco did it also. So, <laughs> a very big secret this thing because it's an uncommon way. In fact, I saw him in the dressing room and <laughs> at his place many times doing this and say, what, what, what's that? And he explained me how to do it. And this, in fact, offers you the real, uh, the real file way, which, which is what, how you will use when you play. This thing here, because of the of the angle and of the attack I have, I can never get that uh, on the by using this kind of files this way. Right? So then now you can also polish it, of course. That's good. Then do not have excessively also this long, too long the the, the pinky finger nail. It's not good idea. Why? I have to see if him people have the the pinky finger like this and. Then the, the thumb like this, like a knife, <laughs> nails also too too long, and should not be too long because nails have to be under the under the flesh of the of the finger, and not the other way around like this. Right now, other thing on the left hand, nobody talks about this, but also left hand should not be excessively short on left hand because it has to have some. Well, it depends where you have the the growth of the nail, but should be not excessively long. If it is too long, then it may also cause problems here by when you, when you have to, to play on the frets, but you have to have a little bit of, of nail also there. Why? It is, if it is too short, that's not good for the ligado, for the hammer-on pull-off, for this effects and for the different things that you will use resources of technical expression in guitar like legato etc and also because of the feel and the stability of the finger so in left hand it's important also to have the proper length of nails so this is both things and I, I, I hope you cover it up all and this is what is to be done you try and let me know how it went. Thank you and I see you next time.